Question 1. Define distributed system. Answer. A distributed system is a collection of independent computers that appears to its users as a single coherent system. A distributed system is one in which components located at networked communicate and coordinate their actions only by passing message. Question 2. List the characteristics of distributed system. Answer. Programs are executed concurrently. There is no global time. Components can fail independently. Isolation crash. Question 3. Mention the examples of distributed system. Answer. The internet. Intranets. Mobile and ubiquitous computing. Question 4. What is mobile and ubiquitous computing? Answer. Mobile computing devices are being carried around. Ubiquitous little computing devices are all over the place. Question 5. Mention the challenges in distributed system. Answer. Heterogeneity. Openness. Security. Scalability. Failure handling. Concurrency. Transparency. Question 6. What are the advantages of distributed systems? Answer. Performance distribution, reliability, fault tolerance, incremental growth, sharing of data, resources, communication. Question 7. What are the disadvantages of disadvantages of distributed systems? Answer. Difficulties of developing distributed software, networking problems, security problems. Question 8. Write the difference between mobile and ubiquitous computing. Answer. Ubiquitous computing used in single environment such as home or hospital. Mobile computing has advantage when using different devices such as laptops and printers. Question 9. Why we need openness? Answer. The degree to which a computer system can be extended and re-implemented. IEEE equals Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. For example, IEEE 802.11 WRAN, IEEE 802.3 Ethernet, W3C equals World Wide Web Consortium. For example, HTML recommendations. Question 10. What is the security mechanisms used in distributed computing? Answer. Encryption. For example Blowfish. RSA authentication. For example Password. Public key authentication authorization. For example Access control lists. Question 11. How we provide a security? Answer. Confidentiality. Protection against disclosure to unauthorized individual. For example ACLs. Access control lists. To provide authorized access to information. Integrity. Protection against alternation or corruption. For example changing the account number or amount value in a money order availability. Protection against interference targeting access to the resources. For example denial of service. DOS. DDOS. Attacks non-repudiation. Proof of sentence. Ending, receiving information, for example digital signature. Question 12. Define scalability. Answer. System should work efficiently at many different scales, ranging from a small intranet to the internet. Challenges of designing scalable distributed systems. Cost of physical resources. Cost should linearly increase with system size. Performance loss. For example, in hierarchically structured data, search performance loss due to data growth should not be beyond O. Log N, where N is the size of data. Preventing software resources running out. Numbers used to represent internet address. 32-bit, 64-bit, Y2K-like problem. Avoiding performance bottlenecks. Use decentralized algorithms. Centralized DNS to decentralized. Question 13. What are the different types of system model? Answer. Architecture model. Fundamental model. Interaction model. Failure model. Security model. Question 14. What is the use of middleware? Answer. Middleware a layer of software whose purpose is to mask heterogeneity and to provide a convenient programming model to application programmers. Middleware is represented by processes or objects in a set of computers that interact with each other to implement communication and resource sharing support for distributed applications. Question 15. Define protocol? Answer. The term protocol is used to refer to a well-known set of rules and formats to be used for communication between processes in order to perform a given task. The definition of a protocol has two important parts to it. A specification of the sequence of messages that must be exchanged. A specification of the format of the data in the messages. 